Evening, everybody. Welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show here on Newsmax TV. You got to give the left wing credit. When they get power, they wield it unapologetically, unencumbered by the law or the Constitution or a conscience. Socialist Democrats, they're all in. That's the wake up call to a rudderless GOP and a weary nation in tonight's preamble. The current occupier of the Oval Office, Joe Biden, took a break from his normal creepy and racist behavior yesterday, pledging that he'll be sending government overseers to your town to go door to door to bring pressure on you to take a vaccine that you may or may not want to take. We are continuing to wind down the mass vaccination sites that did so much in the spring to rapidly vaccinate those eager to get their first shot and their second shot, for that matter, if they needed a second. Now we need to go to community by community, neighborhood by neighborhood, and oftentimes door to door, literally knocking on doors to get help to the remaining people protected from the virus. But Biden has seized power. And whether it's intimidating our citizens on the vaccine or imposing lawlessness on the border, a guy with Biden's mindset isn't about to be guided by the American principle of a government that governs least governs best. Speaking of lawlessness, a major socialist constituency has revealed for all the world to see the lengths they will go to throw around their power over your kids. More than 5,000 so-called educators have signed a petition vowing to break laws that have been passed or are being considered in multiple state legislatures. These laws ban the teaching of racism against whites and Marxism critical race theory. This is the lesson a tyrannical minority of teachers wishes to teach your children, that if you are a vile left winger, the laws don't apply to you. Adding insult to injury, the union thug, the president of the American Federation of Teachers, Randy Weingarten, has pledged that her union will defend any teacher who violates, breaks the law. Mark my words, our union will defend any member who gets in trouble for teaching honest history. We have a legal defense fund ready to go, and we are preparing for litigation as we speak. Ooh, do you notice how she hedged a little bit there? Honest history. That's the cover story that is being used to cloak the 1619 Project and CRT. But very little about critical race theory is honest or true. How do we know? We know because CRT claims that America was founded to be a racist country. Journalist Chris Rufo, uh, Chris Rufo, he jumped on MSNBC's Morning Brzezinski to reveal the truth. And that's just the premise of critical race theory. The premise is that America has a history of racial injustice, racism, inequality, slavery, et cetera, which is absolutely and controvertibly true. But the critical race theory's conclusion that we should abandon equal protection under the law, we should abandon free speech, we should abandon the system of capitalism, which I've documented and cited and sourced, uh, whether Eddie likes it or not, uh, is something that we should reject and something that we should not be promoting in schools. And the NEA says it in very plain language. They say we need to mm -hmm. reject the system of capitalism as a form of oppression. Yep, he's right. He's right. On their website, the National Education Association, the NEA, went all in on teaching critical race theory, thumbing their nose at concerned citizens and parents alike. The NEA promised to promote, quote, an already created in-depth study that critiques empire, white supremacy, anti-blackness, anti-indigeneity, <laughs> racism, patriarchy, cis-heteropatriarchy, capitalism, ableism, anthropocentrism, and other forms of power and oppression at the intersections of our society, and that we oppose attempts to ban critical race theory and or the 1619 Project. After letting the cat out of the bag, the NEA tried to scrub their brief moment of honesty from their webpage, but thankfully, the internet lives forever. And we now have it confirmed that the NEA is a Marxist front group. Just as Rufo said, these people who have taken over government education have committed themselves to force feeding your kids hatred of men, capitalism, hatred of capitalism, and the idea that human life is worthy of protection. They don't want to teach that anymore. By lumping those virtues that stand in the way of their acquisition of unchallenged power by lumping them in with racism, white supremacy, and anti-blackness. Indeed, institutionalized racism is long dead in America, 
But these left-wingers are using their power to pretend institutionalized racism still exists as a predicate to impose real systemic racism, racism against whites, hatred of, uh, uh, of capitalism. They want to instill anti-liberty, anti-freedom principles, and an all-encompassing oppressive government control. Chris Alcedo's show is 100% opposed to public employee unions. We've maintained that when these unions negotiate gold-plated deals, as a result, the non-union taxpayers, they get reamed. Plus, these public employee unions are financed with dues paid by both Republicans and Democrat taxpayers. But the unions take those dues and then donate nearly exclusively to socialist candidates and causes, forcing we conservatives to fund our political opposition. That's unfair. The only reason why leftists have amassed such unchecked and unchallenged power is because the alleged opposition party, the Republicans, have abandoned our kids and our nation's parents to these animals. The only reason why school districts across this country can take your tax dollars at will and push this poison onto your kids is that the GOP refuses to give parents the power of the purse through school choice. Trust me when I say that if parents could take the money dedicated to their child's education and then take their kids out of CRT classrooms, guess what? There would be no CRT classrooms. This leads to another question. If socialist Democrats are so willing to use their power to harm us, why aren't Republicans dedicated to using their power to help us? Perhaps that's a question for you. Maybe you can ask that the next time that the GOP asks for donations to their political campaigns. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.